Welcome viewers. In this video we are going to discuss about the types of foundation for transmission tower. So first one is the conventional method like pad and chimney type. So the picture is showing so this the main application for this pad and chimney foundation is at the large base width which is having more than 4 meter of transmission line tower. Soil type gravel non cohesive soil. Major components of this pad and chimney type is stub which is to be connected between the foundation and the leg member of transmission line towers. Chimney is a pedestal type which is showing in the picture in red color or orange color and bottom pad which is in gray color in the picture. Sub classification or first one is plain concrete footing. So the picture in the bottom which is showing the plain concrete footing where the footing is having without any reinforcement and the chimney to be placed parallel to the main leg inclination and the stub is going to install inside the pedestal. The pedestal or chimney will reach until the plain concrete footing depth. So this is a first sub classification of pad and chimney. Second one is reinforcement concrete footing. So similar like this plain concrete footing, this bottom pad should be reinforced with the steel reinforcement. So this is a second sub classifications of pad and chimney. Third one is stepped footings. You can see the picture in the bottom, the third picture where the shape of the footings is in stepped. Generally it should not go beyond 40 degree inclination that step. Fourth one is bramidal footings. So this the shape of footings is in bramid. So this is very good in punching shear. So these are the four sub classification of pad and chimney type of foundation for transmission towers. Advantages is this is best suitable for irregular ground level where body extension and leg extensions are, are required. Second type is the raft foundation in this where all the four legs are to be connected with the bottom raft. So here in the gray color is a bottom raft which are connecting the four chimney or pedestal where this include the stub of main leg. Application of this kind of foundation is a small or medium base with less than four meter. Soil type is gravel, non cohesive soil, sand or silty sand. Major components are stub, chimney and bottom pad. Sometimes this will also have some tie beams in bottom pad. Sub classification are base lab and second sub classification is tie beams and base lab. Advantages of this raft foundation type is more stability in sliding and overturning as it is having a mass weight of foundation. Good for submerged conditions. Even for the submerged conditions it won't have a sliding effect or flotations effect because of the mass weight as it is carrying as a raft or mast foundation. Disadvantage is, is it is not suitable for irregular ground level because that bottom raft need a regular flat terrain or flat ground. So this is not applicable for the structure which is required for body or leg extension. Second one is mass concrete. It's required more huge volume of concrete depends upon the base width of the tower and it is uneconomical for large base width which is having more than 4 meter. Next type is concrete agar or caisson. So in this a caisson or a well type of foundation to be erected for four legs or even the combined all four legs then later that chimney to be erected and after that the stub to be installed 
so likewise uh, there are various component in concrete and agar caisson type so this is applicable for a large base width more than 4 meter soil erosion if it is there this kind of uh, foundation is more uh, more applicable and settlement in case the foundation or soil is having a settlement criteria settlement uh, issues this kind of uh, agar or caisson type of foundation is more applicable and this is more suitable for underwater foundation also soil type is gravel non cohesive soil or soft rock even for soil uh, erosion this kind of uh, foundation is more good and major components are like step chimney or chute well designed so these are the major components so the gray color we can call it as chute or well and the red color is chimney and as usual the stub should be inserted in the chimney and connected to the main leg the sub classifications are, are based upon the shape it is a circular shaft square agar third and third is a combined well foundation where in this where if it is a base with this less we can go for combined uh, well foundation and fourth one is pneumatic caissons advantages are uh, resist with the effect of uh, covering as large cross sectional area reduces vibrations because it is transferring the axial tension and compression to the soil disadvantage is it is having a construction cost and a duration which are very high which required special equipment and uh, machineries fourth type is steel grillage so the foundation to be built with the steel below the leg main leg of the transmission towers with the i beams rolled steel beams like i or h profile or u profile or c profile application of this steel grillage foundation is low bearing soil bed short service transmission line suppose the transmission line tower to be service for 10 years or even less than the 10 years this kind of steel grillage foundation is more more applicable because that steel foundation which we are going to cast below the transmission line tower can be able to reuse or relocate easily soil type is well compacted soil so this foundation to be laid over the well compacted soil and some part of concrete like lean concrete we need to place before laying this foundation major components are base plate base connections such as anchor bolts separator or space bars which is required to place between the two beams which is running parallel and perpendicular to each other in various tiers steel ties which is to be required to connect the main beams steel foundation beams which is at the bottom most tier used to disperse the entire structural load to the foundation concrete bed which is to be laid before the foundation steel finally the concrete encasement to be done after installing this steel grillage foundation sub classifications are combined this is applicable for transmission line tower having a less than 33 kv where the base width is very less so that all the four leg can be connected to each other by steel steel grillage for a common foundation second one is a single leg as showing in the picture the single leg is applicable for the transmission line tower which is having higher base width that is the greater of 33 kv transmission line tower can be applicable for this sub classification third one is steel with concrete encast this is like material properties type fourth one is precast concrete yeah sometimes the precast concrete also can be used 
for this transmission line tower uh, steel grillage foundation some timber is uh, not uh, suitable for transmission line tower as it is uh, transferring major uh, tension and compression where the timber if you are using means we need to check the whether the timber is uh, having a grain parallel to or perpendicular to the loading direction so these are parameters are challenging in doing grillage foundation with the timber so that can be avoided for transmission line tower so only the material we are uh, looking means only the steel and precast concrete is more common for grillage foundation in a transmission line tower the predominant is steel grillage for a transmission line tower foundation advantage is we can avoid deep excavation where this steel grillage is required only 1 to 1.5 meter of excavation which is uh, very minor for a transmission line tower second advantage is uh, it is a quick relocation or dismantling is possible as it is built with steel reuse of materials we can reuse this uh, scrap materials or uh, we can say that good material after a uh, short service transmission line tower we can reuse these materials to other uh, locations or other structures less weight compared to that concrete uh, mass or individual foundation this is uh, having a less weight disadvantage is uh, steel consumption this required high steel consumption compared to the concrete uh, design of foundation and this required site welding whereas some equipment is required to weld at site steel treatment for soil exposure also we need to consider soil or concrete exposure we need to consider for this structural steel which are having a encased in concrete for steel grillage the fifth type is pile foundation this is mostly applicable in offshore transmission heavy loaded transmission lines if the soil is very weak suppose the soil type is black cotton loose clay or having a standard penetration test value of n less than or equal to 5 then this kind of pile foundation is applicable for transmission line tower because the transmission line tower is having high tension and compression load transfer to foundation so this pile will perform to transfer the lateral transfer the axial forces like tension and compression to the soil even it will support some lateral forces also due to the soil rigidity because that bedrock if it is not found within the foundation depth about 5 meter we need to go for pile foundation the major components are stub which is to be connected the steel main leg to the chimney and chimney is to be connected from stub to the pile cap pile cap is a structural element which is to be connect all the pile group the in this picture there are four piles are showing per leg so all the four pile should be connected by pile cap so that the load transfer will happen through this pile cap to the pile the sub classifications are first one is bored cast in situ piles second one is precast or pre stressed concrete driven piles single piles sometimes the single pile is applicable for low voltage transmission like 11 kv whereas for per leg one pile is sufficient fourth type is sub classification is group pile so it is showing in the picture for two or more number of pile we need a group file system which are connected by pile cap advantage of this is this is more suitable for offshore projects pile reached to hard strata is having a more stability in both the end bearing of the rock which is under the which is in the tip of the pile and the skin bearing also will give you extra benefit to carry the more loads of the pile because that skin friction of soil will increase the uh, lateral forces uh, resistant also disadvantage is uh, 
construction cost and duration is very high which require complicated erection process special equipment and machineries the sixth type is rock angers this is applicable for hilly areas with hard rock where the hard rock unable to do excavation so we we need to do some chiseling on the hard rock up to a depth of 1 meter or 1.5 meter so that the foundation block which is showing in the green color can be laid so this kind of foundation should have a soil type of medium or hard rock where the huge excavation is not possible major components of this type of rock anger foundations are stub chimney foundation block which is connecting the chimney to the anger grout materials such as chemical grout or cement concrete based grout and tendons or steel bars which is required for angering to the bedrock subsoils sub classifications for these rock angers are one is vertical anger another one is inclined anger in this picture you can see the vertical anger inclined anger is nothing but the direction will be in inclination with respect to the hard bedrock and the force transmetal advantage of this rock angers are huge excavation can be avoided only 1 to 1.5 meter is sufficient to place the foundation block less formwork we need the formwork only for the chimney and the bedrock which is having a very less in size compared to the conventional raft foundation or isolated foundation disadvantage this requires special apparatus and machineries so the picture below you can see the reinforcement steel bars or tendons which is required to do this rock angers so in summary we had seen the foundation type based on structural arrangement pad and chimney raft foundation concrete agar or caisson steel grillage pile foundation rock angers thank you we will see in next video look at description for more related videos subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you